The chemistry laboratory can be an interesting place. It can also be a dangerous place if safety rules are ignored. Your school knows that safety is important, and so should you. These students are working in the laboratory without wearing their safety goggles. As you will see, this can be a very risky thing to do. Although you may be a very cautious worker, your neighbor may not be. Notice the student on the left is applying a strong flame to a test tube containing a liquid. Because the test tube is not being heated evenly and gently, and is also being carelessly held, the contents can easily be bumped from the test tube, perhaps into a neighbor's eyes. It is critical to get the victim to the eye wash station or a sink immediately. Because the eyes must be flushed thoroughly, it is necessary to keep the eyes pried open. You should report the incident to your instructor immediately. An open flame should never be present in the laboratory when flammable liquids are nearby. Such liquids can easily catch fire or even explode. A moment's carelessness is all that is required for a fire to start. If the fire should start in a glass container such as a beaker, put a solid object over the opening of the beaker. The fire will be smothered. It is crucial that you know where the fire extinguishers are located in your laboratory and how to use them. Never throw a lighted match in the trash. Should a fire break out, don't stand around and watch, but go immediately to the fire extinguisher, pull the pin out that keeps the trigger locked, remove the horn, aim it at the base of the fire, and squeeze the trigger slowly to avoid blasting the gas from the extinguisher. If the fire is truly out of control, sound the fire alarm. To avoid the possibility of your hair or clothing catching fire, wear snug fitting clothes and a hairnet to confine long hair. If your clothing should catch fire, do not run, because this will cause the flames to spread and burn even hotter. Instead, immediately roll on the floor to smother the flames. Another person should get the fire blanket, a lab coat, or jacket to put around you to smother the flames. Cuts in the lab usually result from handling broken glassware. This student is using the properly designated receptacle to clean up a shattered beaker, but she forgot to use a dustpan and a brush. Like a burn, flush the wound under running cold water and call for assistance so that first aid can be administered. Any blood that has dripped onto the bench top or floor should be treated with a 10% bleach solution. Wait 10 minutes to ensure complete disinfectant action, then blot up the residue with a paper towel. Minor burns and spills are much more common in the lab. It's important to think about what you are doing at all times and not let yourself be distracted while working. Glassware and other lab equipment may look unremarkable, but may be very hot. If you should get a minor burn, flush the burn under running cold water for at least five minutes. As with glassware, please don't throw waste chemicals in the trash can or down the drain. Waste liquids must be discarded in the designated receptacle, and solid chemicals must be placed into the solid waste container. Some of the chemicals that you may be using in the lab are very caustic, such as concentrated sulfuric acid. You should never walk around with an open beaker containing a corrosive chemical. This is very dangerous. A moment's inattention or diversion can lead to a truly serious accident. In the event of a spill like this, Go to the emergency shower, remove your clothing, and dilute the acid. In a life-threatening situation, safety comes before modesty. When you are working with chemicals that give off vapors or bad odor, use the fume hood to protect yourself from exposure. Your work area should be clean and ready to use when you come to the laboratory. If it is not, clean the area before you start to work. After you have completed your experiments, return all items to their place, wash all glassware, and wipe down your bench top before leaving the laboratory. Common areas, such as around the balances, must also be cleaned up. Remember, the single most important thing you must do in the lab is to wear your safety goggles. If you wear contact lenses, put a sticker on the left side of the goggle so that in the event of an emergency, the people helping you will realize that you are wearing contacts.
Always wear your safety goggles, not dangling from your neck, not covering your forehead, but over the most vulnerable part of your body, your eyes. Following these important rules will help to make your experience in the laboratory both safer and more enjoyable.